In this video, you'll learn how to extend a private offer for your AWS Marketplace product from your Salesforce account using AWS Partner CRM Connector. Partner CRM Connector seamlessly integrates your Salesforce account with your AWS Marketplace management account. This empowers your sales and pre-sales teams to co-sell and sell with AWS from their familiar CRM environment. With the connector, your team can send or receive updates to or from AWS. They can create AWS Marketplace private offers, resell authorizations, and manage customer agreements. The connector streamlines operations and eliminates reliance on manual data entry into an external user interface by your alliance lead and sales teams. With near real-time synchronization ability of the connector, your sales team's reaction time improves. This helps your team accelerate the sales cycle. Your team can further optimize sales workflows by building automated actions and alerts based on key data points. With the data available natively in Salesforce through the connector, you can build more efficient management views to govern your sales motion more effectively. You can further control users' access to those views based on your own governance and security processes. Before you can create a private offer, your Salesforce account must be configured with the AWS Marketplace module of the Partner CRM Connector. You can find resources you can use for configuring the connector at the end of this video. Here's how my Salesforce console looks after configuring the AWS Marketplace module of the connector. Note the different AWS Marketplace related tabs such as private offer, agreements, resale authorizations, and more. Now, I'll walk you through the process of creating a new private offer. From the Private Offer section of the console, I'll choose New. As I want to create a private offer for my own product, in the ISV dropdown, I'm going to choose Self. Under Products, I'll choose a Software as a Service product I want to create a private offer for. Next, I provide the customer's AWS account number. My customer will be accepting the private offer from this account. If you want to extend the offer to multiple AWS accounts, you can specify a comma-separated list. I'll specify the offer details next. I'll call it Annual Offer 1 and specify a description. Under Service Length, you can specify the offer type and the duration for the offer. For now, I'll choose a future start date for the offer. Now I need to specify a duration. I'll make it an annual offer starting the 1st of September. SaaS products are priced based on dimensions. In this section, I can choose from the dimensions applicable for the SaaS product I chose in the Product and Buyer section of this widget. First, I choose Gold. On the same lines, I choose Bronze and Silver dimensions. I'll specify units for each dimension. For any overage, I can charge customers on a pay-as-you-go basis. For now, I'll leave it as zero. Customers like flexibility in payment for the software. AWS Marketplace supports installment plans, also known as flexible payment schedules, which enable you to extend private offers with a custom payment schedule. The schedule can be spread over the accepted contract duration, and the customer makes payments in regular installments. I'll show you how to configure that. Under Flexible Payment Schedule Options, you can choose from multiple payment frequencies, payment day options, and remainder payment options. For an annual contract of $4 starting September 1st, I would like to choose the quarterly payment option beginning on the first day of the contract. Based on the inputs I've provided so far, I'm able to preview the payment schedule using the Generate Schedule functionality. The system identified four installments of $1 each due every quarter. With the configuration options provided in this section, you're able to build a payment schedule that works for you and your customer. I'll move to the next section. Each offer requires an end-user license agreement that the customer must accept. You can either choose standard marketplace contract or upload a custom agreement. Since this is not a renewal, I'm going to leave this section as it is. An offer comes with a validity date. Failure to accept the offer leads to offer expiration. I'll specify August 16th as the date by which the customer must accept this offer. We're at the last step of the private offer creation process. 
So far, we've provided all the necessary details required to build a brand new private offer. If you need some more information before you can extend this offer to the customer, you can choose to save this offer as a draft. For now, I'll choose Create Offer. Once the offer is ready for acceptance, its status changes to Succeeded. The offer status has changed to Succeeded, which means the customer can now accept the offer. When you open the Offer Detail page, you see a notification in the top left section of the console stating that the offer was published. When you scroll down, you'll find the offer URL, which you can copy and share with your customer. AWS Marketplace lets you experience the end user journey from your seller account in case you need to guide your customer through the process. Now I'll assume the role of the buyer and I'll show you the subscription experience for this private offer. As a buyer, I received the private offer URL, and when I open the private offer URL, here's the view I see. The offer page shows two units of gold, three units of silver, and four units of bronze dimensions. I see the total price of $4 for the contract. If I want to take a look at the end user license agreement I'm agreeing to, I can download it from here. I see start date and end date for the contract, and also the date by which I must accept this offer. When I scroll down, I see a detailed payment schedule in this section. Since everything looks all right, I'm going to choose the Create Contract button and accept the offer. I'll choose Confirm. The subscription went through. In the top section, I see a notification stating that I will be able to use this product under this contract starting September 1st. Now I'll step back into the role of AWS Marketplace Seller. When I open the Agreements tab in the Salesforce console, I see a new agreement for the subscription that was just made. The Private Offer Detail page shows a new active entry in the Agreements section. Congratulations! You just learned how to create, preview, and subscribe to a private offer using the AWS Partner CRM Connector. Check out these resources to learn how to configure and use the Partner CRM Connector. Thanks for watching.